Well, I decided I'm going to I'm going to watch um, YouTube. I'm going to go back to Rocking in the Dales. I'm going to move this this uh, render over to a different desktop. These up here are a bunch of desktops. This is what I really like about uh, what I really like about Blender is all these desktops. Then I can pop up my Rocking in the Dales and then bring this up, and then I can watch. I can continue to watch uh, Ton talking. Yeah, Mark. So you you believe that the product should the product should speak for itself, right? Like if it's better, you use it the better one. Yeah. yeah. Everybody should should decide that for themselves. Mm. I think that's a bit of a difference between the blender, how blender is in the open source world. Let's turn it down. And some people use open source software out of principle, right? GIMP. I guess you just do the volume of my video scroll mouse just are they hovering over the volume of Linux? Up here are they only using right the right. open drivers? Are they make sure that the whole system only uses open source. Mm -hmm. And for for them, Brander is of course fantastic because then they have an open tool to do things. But it might be, I don't know, one percent of the users maybe. The tiny fraction of the people use Blender out of principle. Most people use Blender because it's fun, or because they like it, or because it's a fun community, or because of the freedom, yeah, you can have it legally, you know, not to worry about uh, evil corporations uh, uh, visiting you, or, yeah. or simply because it's good enough for them. Yeah. They like it. Mm. I mean, you know that. Of you, course. What, why do people come to the Blender Guru site to buy stuff? Because they want to have fun, or they are interested to develop skills, or they want to know how to make real glass. And then they model it in a city fun house, right? But and then with one button, they can make it look awesome. Yeah. Right? And that's fun. Yeah. And that's, that's stuff people like. It's yeah. playing with 3D, learning from it, and next time you make a better house, or you got a training how to make good architecture, or how to make the light for that. And, and people like to develop those kind of skills. Yeah. I don't think Blender is more than good enough for that. Mm -hmm. You don't uh, have the same level as Maya or Max. Mm -hmm. right. Or even better, I don't think Maya or Max would ever make that possible. Like what you do. You know what's funny? I, uh, very early on, I, I was, after I started Blender Guru, I thought, maybe Blender's not the, the best for the future. Like, I don't know, it seems like 3D's Max could be could be bigger yeah so what i did was i uh i emailed um autodesk and i said hey uh just want to check legally am i able to uh have a tutorial website i'll call it 3ds max guru or whatever and i make tutorials about your software and uh they couldn't give a straight answer they had they didn't know <laughs> They said, well, we would have to get back to you. We have to check with the legal team kind of thing. And I thought, forget what? it. Do you forget it. Guru Asad would not be approved on. Yeah, I know. So it's like they don't want tutorials for their, I don't know. Maybe it was just the person I, mean, I spoke with. Yeah, but it's a locked-in system. Yeah. So there are, there are not many uh, Max users, legal ones, or legal Maya users. That's true. Uh, most of them are on the, 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 the student version or they have the yeah. free version. And that's uh, a bit of a problem. That's why, uh, what I said, so uh, thanks to Blender, you can do this, and the cookies and others, they can do things because the uh, users can get the software, they can get it for free. Uh, it's an interesting uh, product, it's not an evil corporation behind it, and then they build a relationship with you. Because you do something, you add value to the product, and that's what people like. And that's what people like. Other uh, people who make Blender products as well. Yeah. And if you would do this for Maya, you, you would get a completely different thing because the first step for them is you have to buy Maya or you have to buy Modo or you have to buy uh, any other product. And that's a big investment, it right? Is, yeah. It's really, why would they pay 3000 per year for the software and then have for fun, right? Yeah. Or for a training 